Hello, hello, welcome to my channel. My name is Jani. This is a cross stitch channel where I talk about cross stitch and fabrics and flosses and materials and topics related to cross stitch. If this is the first time that you are here in my channel, welcome. I hope you enjoy the content. And if you wish, um, you can subscribe and click the, the bell, you know, for notification. Uh, I am a Mexican stitcher and I love to share my my hobby, my love for cross stitch. So I hope you enjoy the, the, the channel. And I also have um, I, an Instagram page where I um, uh, also share pictures about projects and uh, work in progress and stories and reels. And sometimes I record uh, live videos. Uh, mostly in Spanish, but <laughs> you know, we can have fun and, and share uh, this uh, lovely uh, hobby that is cross stitch. And today, I, I record yesterday um, a stitch with me video in Spanish, and I was going to record and, and stitch with me in English, but I start uh, doing uh, specialty stitches and doing a little um, experiment with the project that I was working on and I <laughs> I, I, I forgot to, to record <laughs> so I decided to, to you know chat a little bit about uh, my projects and perhaps it's not a, a stitch with me but we can talk we can see each other <laughs> well you can see me actually but yeah that's that's the reason I I didn't uh, record the, the the stitch with me in English, and I've been working, not stitching as much as I um, wish. Um, you know, life in general, family, uh, work. It's a little hard this this um, time, and but I'm still having the 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 stitchy. Bug. I, I really want to stitch, but I don't really have uh, much time and I I want to start <laughs> everything. <laughs> so, and I mean, that's a good thing, but I also want to finish my projects and my whips. So it's finding, finding that uh, balance, not always easy <laughs> because I want, I really want to keep stitching but I get a little bored of, of my current projects so I start new things and then you start to feel you know the guilt of not finish the projects that you already have and it's that kind of uh, vicious circle and but yeah <laughs> so I've been um, working I have always I have a, a lot of, of working projects a lot of whips and I love it. I, I love to have um, all these projects uh, for when I feel in the mood of stitching some of them. I can, you know, take one of my project bags and start working on them. Or, or it's funny because sometimes we are um, uh, chatting with the stitchy friends and stitching together and, and, and talking about projects, uh, projects that they want to start. And, I, I, I'm the one who always said, I got that one, I got that one, I already start that one. <laughs> so if anybody wants to um, work in a specific project, most um, certainly I already have that project. So I don't know if that it's a good thing or not, but <laughs> that's the way I stitch my um, rotation um, program. It's uh, very much stitching whatever i want when i want it so <laughs> and i always uh end that phrase with but i finish things <laughs> but i mean that is not the goal the goal i i think personally is to enjoy the journey enjoy the process you can be working on just one project at a time and have you know a blast and have so much fun with that and you can be, you know, having not just one, but two, three, a hundred <laughs> projects at a time. And, and the idea is to find that uh, balance of enjoying your, your stitchy time, enjoying your projects. Sometimes we can get, you know, bored or of certain um, 
project or, or, or of certain design and we need to break a little bit to uh, a break breaking time and yeah that's that's also okay so yeah <laughs> all of this chatting is um to to let you know that i've been i, I have a lot of whips i work on the one that called me and yeah <laughs> i try to enjoy uh, that that process and in the past days I, I i was working in a secret project so i finished that project but i can't show you yet so <laughs> but yeah i stitch that little project and i've been um seeing a lot of of uh, finishes and work in progress of one of of mirabilia designs a uh, nightingale and i love every every time i watch one of those pictures or or videos where they show the the progress on on nightingale oh i fell in love all over again and i have that project but it has been a struggle <laughs> it's not easy um this is my my progress so far um you can see it's it's not much um you know comparing with with my late days uh picture but i've been struggling <laughs> i i really want to to find you know those uh large blocks of colors where i can stitch um without uh really having to to look carefully to the pattern and in this case i need to to leave the uh, the space of the of the beads and changing the colors and it's not easy it's not easy <laughs> but yeah i am kind of forcing myself to stitch on her i mean it's not it's not forcing because i love her and i want to to finish her but yeah i i need to to keep focus um with with this uh design and and also i'm you know jumping from one part of the of the chart to another and i i don't have much uh, order <laughs> but yeah i'm going to to be stitching this this part of the dress the, the back part of the dress because uh, i find um, the, uh, a lot of, of little blocks of color so i prefer <laughs> to stitch that and also, uh, as I was telling you at the beginning, I need to keep myself uh, motivated. So I start changing, you know, I love to personalize my projects. So I start um, adding um, specialty stitches and a little crystals. I don't know if you can, you can tell here in these uh, white uh, bluish uh, flowers. I decide to to add a little crystals and because of the spaces didn't um, give me enough room to make a, a specialty stitches i just add a little uh, satin stitches in the center of, of each flower and a stitch uh, a clear uh, crystal uh, a bicon crystal so yeah <laughs> I'm, I really want to, you know, change a little bit, and in the in the back part part of the of the dress, I'm also adding uh, these um, specialty stitches. These are Jessica's stitches. So yeah, I'm going to. I I already um, had that part stitched with you know normal crosses, and. I frog that part and added the, the the Jessica's and I love it. They look so pretty. And I added the, the central bead uh, to see how they look and I really like it. <laughs> so yeah, I'm going to be um, stitching, you know, specialty stitches here and there. And yeah, I, I was stitching last night and you find um, I don't know if it happens to to you, but you find again a little bit of, of the rhythm of the pattern, and, and you start to following uh, in love again of, of that project. So yeah, I hope I could 
uh, continue stitching on, on, on her. She's so beautiful. Um, my fabric, it's a, a Lugana 30, 32 that I dyed. And I'm stitching with um, DMC, uh, also uh, CXC, which are um, polyester flosses. And I'm stitching one over two. So the colors in my projects looks a little lighter because the, the crosses are uh, thinner. So I don't know, you, you get that effect uh, when you are not uh, uh, you know making the crosses with two strands and the colors look more 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 lighter more soft um, because you you start to to see parts of the of the fabric you know so yeah it's the the little differences I, I love to to create when I'm stitching and even though we are stitching the the same pattern uh, we we are doing um little personalization and i love that process so yeah i'm really happy with my my nightingale um in in spanish we we call her uh la enfermerita the little nurse <laughs> because you know it's um an, an homage to florence nightingale so we call it we call her the the little nurse and because I, I really want to, to keep stitching and finding myself motivated. I not only bring um, a, pro, a, a project bag with me, I always bring cross stitch with me, you know, small project bags or larger project bags, but I always have some something to stitch <laughs> in my, in my uh, purse or, or in my bag. So I decided because I, I want to stitch in many things that keep it um, keep me motivated. Um, my my aunt made me this um, larger project bag <laughs> where I can put um, look this <laughs> where I can put more project bag. <laughs> so it's like a, a a gym bag, but for cross stitches project. So yeah, <laughs> it's my kind of, of gym bag. And I have this uh, the uh, nightingale and I keep it here in this little um, bag, this little po uh, pouch bag. And because I, I stitch in hand, I just, you know, fold my fabric and put the, the flosses and don't need um, a hoop or a frame. So it's very practical for me. And I also had more projects. <laughs> so let me show you. I have these um, little uh, project bags, which are the perfect uh, size for my purse of, or for this <laughs> gym bag. And here I have uh, another Mirabilia. This is Lily of the Woods, because if I feel inspired, I put um, a stitch on her. I love the colors. I love my fabrics, my fabric, and I love the conversion. Uh, sorry for the, <laughs> for the uh, wrinkle uh, fabric, but you can see she's really pretty. And she's uh, more of a classic uh, Mirabilia. So the, the, the placement of the colors are more easy for me because I'm used to, to that kind of, of um, position of the of the different colors. So it's easy, but I I don't want to, to focus on hair right now because I, I want to keep working on on, on nightingales. So yeah, the struggle, the struggle is real. <laughs> So I have all the beads. Um, I am going to to put uh, local beads that I, I find here in my city. And I'm using different uh, metallics. I have some treasure braids and some cranic. These are not the you know the colors as for in the in the pattern, but I like to 
you know, change a little bit and also use the, the materials that I have on hand from another projects. So yeah, making my, my stitchy process uh, sustainable <laughs> for me. And I also have here in my in my gym bag <laughs> another project that I really want to work on. This is a sampler by um, Al Forest. This is Black Vintage Sampler. Um, I'm stitching uh, this in um, a cotton fabric that I dyed and the floss, I'm, I'm obviously not stitching this with a black uh, floss. This is um, a sewing uh, thread. Uh, it's a polyester. It's a beautiful red. It's by Gutterman. The color is 1046. And I'm stitching. This is um, like a 38 count. And I'm stitching 1 over 2. So again, the, the crosses are, are really thin because the, the, the thread is really thin. But I love it. I love the result and I... Again, I love my fabric and I think it's going to be a gorgeous uh, project when, once it's done. But that's why I, <laughs> I have it here with me to, to remind me to work on this. And this is another of, of my mini project bags. So pretty. So yeah, I also want to to work, uh, I'm going to show you some of my uh, of my whips because I really want to work on them too. <laughs> this is another project that I'm working on. This is by um, Teresa, yeah. Teresa Kogut is a uh, Let Love Rain and I'm stitching this just a little fragment of the of the full uh, pattern. This is a lovely sampler, so pretty, but I'm going to stitch just this little band, this, this part of the flowers and this is a very special uh, design because I this is a project bag that I have with this. So pretty. <laughs> I'm starting, I, I start this project in the last um, Mexican retreat, which is not actually Mexican because it's international retreat. <laughs> we, we got visitors from United States, from Costa Rica, from Spain, um, from um, Chile. So yeah. <laughs> and also from Mexico and I start this project uh, and and it has stitches from many of the of the attendees to the retreat so I start the project you know that that day and um, a, a lot of of the of the stitchers uh, gave me a few minutes to to stitch a few crosses on this project and I use uh, this fabric. This is an Aida 14 that I dyed, but um, you know, regularly you stitch this type of, of uh, samplers in a smaller fabric, in a in a high count. But I decided to use this this Aida because uh, many of the of the stitchers um, didn't, you know, are are used to to that type of of uh, high count fabrics. So because I wanted that. Uh, many stitchers uh, gave me a few crosses. I decided to to start this project in a Naida 14. So yeah, I really want to to keep um, working on this to bring the the final piece to to the next retreat. <laughs> so yeah, I that's why I also have this this project with me <laughs> because this is one that I I really want to to stitch this year. And also another one that I really <laughs> want to finish is um, this beautiful sampler. Uh, this is Friends of the Heart by Plum Street Sampler. And I love it. And I haven't been working on this for, for a long, long time. 
but I really need to to get back to this it's so pretty and the fabric it's also um, a cotton local fabric that I dyed um, like 38 um, count and I'm stitching this with CXC uh, flosses one over two so pretty and in this in this project I'm um, you know playing with my uh, the back side of of the project to try to keep it really neat <laughs> and I was as I was uh, taught when I was little it's just part of the of the game because every back side of each project is perfect you don't have to worry about that I, I was uh, watching today um, a video by uh, Nicola Parkman. She was showing uh, uh, an antique sampler uh, from 1872, something like that. And she showed the, the backside of the sampler to show the, the colors, because we know that um, many of these antique samplers, you know, had these faded colors in the front. And if you want to see the real colors, you have to, if you have the opportunity, to 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 check the the back part of the of the project and you find this vibrant co vibrant colors and really alive colors of the of the sampler so she was showing the the back side of the of the project and and all the stitches were you know jumping from size to size and i love it i love that kind of of back side and it's it, it doesn't really matter how you stitch it. You can, you know, um, put your stitches in the, in cross your stitches in the same dire directions of, or you can choose to play with the orientation of your stitches and that's okay. You can have a really neat um, backside because I have friends who, who stitch that way because they feel very comfortable doing so and they don't really want to change that that uh, way of stitching, but it's not um, the the I, I think it's not the, the the only way to do it or the right way to do it. You can stitch the way you feel comfortable, the the way you enjoy what you are doing. So yeah, I have a, a few projects where I like to to play with with the backside and sometimes you know, making a really beautiful mess <laughs> and sometimes trying to, to keep as neat as I, I can. And it's part of the process and it's part of the enjoyment, enjoying of the happiness <laughs> of stitching. So yeah, uh, I also have another um, project that I really want to work on this year. This is... Um, another design by by Teresa Cogut it's an, an angel this is in command and she's so beautiful and I'm having a, a really hard time working on on her because it's like a full coverage piece and I'm not used to work on on that type of, of stitching um, you know um, pieces but she's so beautiful and again um, this is a, a local uh, cotton fabric that I dyed I dyed this uh, piece with um, paper color so yeah I love the result it's very like a an angelical fabric <laughs> and uh, I think this this project is going to look amazing here once it's finished but a lot of, of beautiful projects um, I need time I need more time <laughs> to stitch all of them but yeah this is um, these are my my current um, whips uh, that I have with me uh, we need a, a new names for for those special whips that you are working currently because we whips I have a lot and some of them are really almost an UFO but not 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 there <laughs> and and some of my whips are the ones that I want to be working on on currently 
so yeah we need to 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 have a, a special name for those whips that are currently in our rotation even though i don't have a rotation but you know what i mean <laughs> so yeah this is my my um, little uh, stitchy report for this week i didn't record um, last week i'm sorry i i didn't uh, make a, an english video sometimes um it's difficult because obviously it's not my my first language and i i don't know i i feel like um when when i finish my my spanish video i feel like um repeating everything in in english sometimes i didn't find it very interesting so i tried to to think in other topics and i don't know <laughs> it's all in my mind i was um uh i remember i wrote a, a comment in my instagram um because a a, a lovely uh, stitchy friend uh, wrote me that she was uh, watching my videos and she was really enjoying my 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 videos on my channel and i was uh telling her you know it's it's funny because i record this video as a, a, a stitchy journey for myself and i love to to see how other stitchers um you know watch me and perhaps i can be a little of, of company and we can stitch together but it's funny to 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 know <laughs> to realize that other stitchers are, are watching you um and you feel a little you know shy because you, you in my case at, at least i say uh i'm stitching and i'm like it's like talking with yourself but then you realize that it's not just for yourself <laughs> but yeah it's it's kind of, of funny and interesting and as as long as i feel happy sharing these videos and happy sharing this content i'm going to do it i, I love cross stitch and it always brings me so much joy so yeah thank you for being here with me i hope you have a great week uh, take care of yourself take care of your family and i will see you in my next video Bye-bye.